Honey, are you asleep? I got your text that you were feeling icky, so I took the rest of the day off. Oh, baby, you look exhausted. Why didn't you say something this morning? I would have stayed home from work. Oh, no, don't don't say that. You're never an inconvenience for me, baby boy. Okay? I would drop everything to rush to your side and and take care of you if you needed it. You know that. Well, you're always my number one priority, honey. I'll always be here for you. Always. Okay, please don't treat yourself like a burden. Here. I'm going to take your temperature real quick, okay? Here, say ah. Uh. There you go. Hold that right there. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, you're burning up. 101? Here. That's it. Yep, I'm taking you out of the game for the day, bud. Here, lay back down. No more doing anything else for you today. How does it feel? Yeah. Well, wh what are your symptoms like? Uh huh. Oh, ew. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I I bet you're right. I I got some kind of flu a few weeks ago too, so Well, it is that time of year. The plague is spreading throughout the land. Oh, honey, you're you're shivering. Here, let me tuck you back into the blankets, okay? There you go. There. Is that better? Want me to get you an extra pillow? No, no, no. Don't apologize, sweet boy. Of course I don't mind taking the rest of the day off work to look after you. You look like you've barely been keeping it together. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. You look like a light breeze could knock you over. Besides, I'll look for any excuse to cut work, especially on days when Shannon is there. And besides, you know I don't do any actual work anyways. I just kind of sit there and watch Trixie and Katya while everyone walks past my office. <laughs> but uh, that's enough about work. Here, let me feel your forehead for a second. Oh, God, it's so hot. It's making you sweat pretty bad. And look, it's getting your hair wet. Here, let me brush it back. And put a damp towel on your forehead. How's that sound? That'll at least cool you down. You know, that fever has me a little worried. Okay, here, lay down. I'll go grab that towel, okay? I'll put the bowl with the cool water here on your nightstand so you can make it damp again if you need to, okay? Now let me put this on your forehead. Don't roll around and shake it off, all right? Oh, d stop squirming around. It'll make you feel better. Uh, uh, oh, will you behave? Here. There you go. See? 
Told you. <laughs> Is it weird to say you look so handsome when you're sick? <laughs> that warm flush on your cheeks, your deep breaths, the way your chest rises and falls. And no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> really, you do. You really do. Prettiest boy I've ever seen. Mm. Yes, honey. The moment I laid my eyes on you, I knew I had to make you mine. Couldn't let you slip away. Mm. You're too perfect. I couldn't let anyone else have you. Sorry, honey. I'm very selfish. <laughs> no one else can take care of you the way I can. The way you deserve to be taken care of. And you know that too. Which is why you grumble. And you mumble. And you put up a fight. But you always let me take care of you anyways, don't you? Mm. Good boy. Oh, what are you talking about? Of course I had to come take care of you. My sweet little prince isn't feeling well. Of course I'm going to stop what I'm doing and help him. Because you'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? No matter how much I protested and said I was fine, you'd tell me to behave and rest while you took care of everything, just like you did when I had the flu a few weeks ago, right? Hmm, besides, taking care of you when you're sick is one of my favorite things to do for you. And you're much easier to handle when you're sick and don't have as much energy. <laughs> Normally you're such a brat, you never listen to me, even when I know best. Oh, don't give me that look. You know what? I know what's going on. Mm-hmm. I know. I'm diagnosing you with stage three hangry disease. You haven't had anything to eat all day, have you? That's why you're being a mongrel, isn't it? <laughs> Would you feel better if I made you some chicken noodle soup? I think we have some saltine crackers in the kitchen, too. Does that sound good? Okay. I'll go get it started, then. Um, no, sir. You're going to stay right there, and you're going to rest. You can still talk to me, honey. The kitchen is right across from your room. You can see me with the door open, goofball. You know, there was this medicine I took when I had the flu. It was just one pill, and you take it once, and it helps with, like, the whole thing from beginning to end. It worked really well when I took it. I, I don't usually take medicine for that kind of thing. Yeah, but since I actually, you know, went to the doctor this time to check and see, you know, whether it was the sickness that shall not be named... I just went and got the medicine since the doctor recommended it. It was pretty cheap. I just wish I could remember what it was called. I could find out and go pick one up for you. Okay. I'll see what they have when I go later. That smells pretty good. Are you going to share with me? Fine. I'm going to have some anyways. Um, uh, no, that was, uh, that was the, uh, that was the, ca the cat. That was the cat. Yeah, cats do too make slurping noises when they drink. Yes, they do. If you if you know if you listen, you know, close enough and Oh, hey, uh what was that thing you added to the soup when you made it for me? The thing that made it taste really good. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Where do we where do we keep that again? What a strange thing to add to soup. 
I mean, I guess if it tastes good, it's not really that strange, is it? You remember a couple years ago when I got like super sick and you made me chicken noodle soup with saltine crackers because it was my favorite sick in bed meal and now we just kind of keep returning the favor back and forth? Isn't that sweet, honey? No, I was not begging. I just asked you more than once and you think that means I was begging for it, but really it's because you can't hear. Um... I don't know where you got that from, but whatever happened, uh, you ended up making it for me. And I really think that I fell in love with you for real when you did that. You know, I know it's not really the same when I do it, because it's uh, from a can. Because uh, I'm not really the best at cooking, but I hope that you can feel just how much I love you when you eat it. Drink it. Do you, do you eat soup or do you drink soup? I guess it just kind of depends on how the soup is delivered to your mouth. Like if you use a for, fork and a knife or a spoon. Or if you just like have it in one of those like little cups that you can get where you just drink it out of the, it's like a little coffee cup. I, anyways, I think, I think we're done here. There we go. And here. I'm even going to put it in a nice bowl because I love you. Here, I'm going to set it on your bedside table next to the water bowl, okay? What? Don't say, ah, I'm not going to feed it to you, you goof. <laughs> I see the flu hasn't knocked out your sense of humor. All right, here, make sure you eat it all, okay? Your body needs energy to fight off this flu. I want you back in good shape as soon as possible, okay? Here, eat up. Oh, please, it's the least I could do, really. I actually kind of feel a little bad. Soup from a can really isn't much compared to your homemade soup that you made me. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad you like it. Although I think Mr. Campbell had more to do with it than I did. Because, you know, it's, you know, it's his soup after all. <laughs> oh, don't feel like you need to apologize for me taking care of you. It's not an inconvenience, I promise. And I love caring for the man that lights up my life, so please let me do this, Okay. Let me know when you're done. I'll go wash the dishes, okay? Mm, okay. All done. How are you feeling? Oh, honey, your sheets are all damp with sweat. It's going to be impossible to get comfy like that. Let's throw those in the wash real quick and get some new dry ones. 
that you can try and take a little nap, okay? No, 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 no. it'll be real quick, I promise. Here, scooch up a bit. Let me get my arms under your back. I'll sit you down in the chair while I change the sheets, okay? Mm -mm, absolutely not. You're sick as a dog, and I'm not going to let you get up and move around on your own. Nope, nope, mm-mm, nope, here we go. <clears throat> Good boy. <laughs> I remember the first time I picked you up like this. You're genuinely shocked. <laughs> I told you I could lift you. It doesn't matter what size you are. I could bench press your entire body weight, no problem. <laughs> Look at you. Whenever I pick you up, you turn into baby boy instantly. <laughs> it's like picking up a cat by the back of their neck. They just kind of like shut down. All right, all right, I'll set you down. All right, here. There you go. God, they're all wet. Okay. All right, there we go. I'll be right back, okay? Here we go. Look at these nice, clean ones. You always fold the laundry so nicely. Yes, I do know how to fold them. I just let you do it because you're, you do a better job of it. <laughs> Oh, it's hard to reach all the way across this bed. <laughs> yes, I do know how to do hospital corners. Leave me alone. No, it is even. No, it's, I made it longer on that side because that side is up against the bed. No, I made it longer on this side because the other side is up against the wall, so you can't even see it. It looks better this way. There. Don't argue with me. And... Voila. There we go. Come here, I'll tuck you in. Ready? Whoa. And there we are. There. Is that better? Yeah. Much more comfy, right? You think you might be able to catch a little nap now? Good. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Something's not right. Mm-mm. We're forgetting something. Well, okay, I'm forgetting something. I haven't made your nighttime sleepy tea, have I? Oh, God, how silly of me. <laughs> I'll put the teapot on real quick, okay? Give me just a minute. Right, we'll let that warm up real quick, okay? You know, that pink rose lemonade tea actually tastes like really, really good. Yeah, I mean, you know I don't really care much for tea, but I actually, I actually really like that one. Well, no, that's not true. I, I like tea, I just prefer tea that doesn't have caffeine in it. You know, I can't really have caffeine because it messes with my sleep a little bit, but... Well, I like having evening tea time with you too, honey. That's part of the reason why I like the caffeine-free kind. <laughs> oh, was that was that a was that a yawn? Oh, oh, is someone is someone getting someone getting eepy? <laughs> no, no, don't shake yourself awake, you goof. You're supposed to be getting tired. Oh, I'll be right back.
I promise I won't oversteep it this time. Yes, I know how long to keep it in there. Until you told me to take it out. <laughs> All right, fine, you do it. Here. Oh, you're welcome, honey. Now, all you need is some good rest, and you should be well on your way to getting better. As fun as it is to take care of you like this, I need my energetic golden retriever boy back. You know, I'm not the type of person to worry, but I don't want you to be sick for too long. <laughs> mm, does it taste good? Not oversteeped. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, I see your eyelids starting to get heavy. <laughs> oh, really? Not tired. Not even a little. Not even a, just a little tiny bit tired. <sighs> All right. You leave me no choice. I know what'll really knock you out. Here we go. <clears throat> the Hobbit, a journey through Middle Earth. You never make it five seconds through the opening part where it talks about the Shire and the Hobbits without falling asleep. Oh no, honey, you're going to sleep. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, didn't even start reading yet. <laughs> told you. Oh well, I guess there can't really be any I told you so's when you're sleeping. Unless... You're just pretending to go to sleep, so I go away. You better not be. That'd be very rude, young man. Oh no, you're deep in dream town. Get better soon, sweet boy. I love you. No, you look really cute when you're asleep. Hmm. <coughs>